Hello, welcome to Dave's Aquarium Thoughts. I am Dave. Today, I got a new filter to unbox, which this is the Marine Land, the Penguin Pro 125. Good up to 20 gallons, which is going to go for my 20 gallon long, which is, I'm using this one to replace the Aquion Smart Clean power filter, which I didn't like. So I'm going to go, I'm going to try this one, see how this one goes. Uh, this one, like I said, it's up to 20, 20 gallons. It has a little more options to, what's the word, pimp it up a little, add my own media filter. It still has those filter cartridges, but that's only a small piece of it. I probably won't even use them, considering they have carbon, which I'm not a big fan of using carbon unless I have to use it. But it's good to have if I need to be. So I'm gonna, probably going to find a way to bypass that as well but I haven't really seen how this is on the inside yet so let's go and take a look and see how it is on the inside so let's go ahead and open up this Marineland Penguin Pro 125 and see what it looks like on the inside see what it gives me and so forth like that uh, like the sea kind titles the um, the pump is on the outside of the unit which is going to sit inside the water so, let's see how that works. So, anyways, let me go ahead and open it up. Uh, basically, this is what you this is what you see when you open it up. Which basically, it's the uh, manual. Looks like it's rubber banded around the filter. So, let me go ahead and pull this out. Let me pull it out this way. Mm, oh, okay. So it looks like it all. It's all self-contained into this one little unit right here. So I'm going to move that box out of the way. Let me remove this rubber band. And I'll hold off on this just in case I need it. Uh, so let's see what we have here. All right. We have a pretty decent sized cord. Not that I need a decent sized cord, but it's there. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this uh, this, this up and see what's on the inside. It's basically what it is. It's a uh, open and shut lid like this. It's not one that you pop off. It just you kind of lift up. Which I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works when I when I use it. It has the traditional Marineland bio wheel, which has its benefits. It does have its uh, area for your um, your bio filtration and then of course it sticks there uh, one one concern always on this is that eventually it does stop spinning how that's going to work on this one nowadays i don't know but we'll figure out how this thing works and we'll see if it continues to flow i am really liking the way that they did this uh, little outflow you kind of have like a little thing right here to hide it and then you have like the little area right there where the water flows out of. So anyways, you have your uh, bottom intake, which is this, which uh, I don't like the way it's, uh, I don't really like the fact that it's like this. It's kind of hard to get any uh, sponge around it. And I'm not sure if there's any way to open it to put a sponge in there, but we'll, we'll make do, I guess. So there, there's that piece right there. I really wish that there's a way to open this, to put a sponge in there, but it is what it is. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at other other videos and see what they do with that. So I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, you have your uh, you have your power filter cartridge, which is basically conveniently color coded packaging. Easy way to figure out you choose the right cartridges. This one's the right size filter cartridge featuring black diamond premium activated car uh, carbon, supposed to trap more dirt and removes more impurities. Delivers maximum water and carbon contra uh, con contact. I really don't like the carbon off off bat. And I really don't like these to begin with because supposedly you're supposed to change them every month. Which I, don't, I really... I understand cleaning them maybe, but having to replace something like that, I really don't want to do that. Uh, and you have the rest of the intake right here. Uh, nice thing about this one is I think what you have is you do have other intakes in here where you have a mid intake which is open you can open and close so if you want to have um intake in the middle column you can as well as the bottom 
Oop. Or you can just take it off completely. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put that back how it was. Uh, okay. And supposedly, yeah, I do have a, uh, you're supposed to have a uh, media basket in here. Oh, here's more of the intake. <laughs> so I guess this, let me see, figure out how this goes. I guess this goes right in there. And it looks like it, and so you get, you get, a, you get a pretty long, you get a pretty long intake on this. So you, you do get a pretty long intake, but from the looks of it, you might not even need this long portion. So I'm assuming it, it is extendable, but being in my 20 gallon, I don't need it to extend that far out. So what, I, what I'm wondering is, I'm wondering if you could just do it this way and just have a short intake. Because I really, I really don't need a long intake. Uh, small intake is going to be fine for me. Let me see if that fits in there. Which it does. Which it does. It should anyways. Yeah, it does. So that's that's all I'm going to need. I don't, I don't need to go all the way down not towards the bottom of the tank. This is going to be good enough. But like I said, I really don't like that. I might have to look for other features to cover that up or put kind of some kind of other thing in there. But I, I really, that's the one thing I don't like about this one, which was a kind of a little offsetting for me, is just the way that this is made. It looks like small fries can get, get in there if they get too close. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. But there's probably ways out there where you could actually mod this filter so you don't have that issue. Let me go ahead and, I don't need that on there for now. Uh, go. Let me see how. Let me see how you get the mi filter media out because there is a. Okay, so this, this this piece does come out. This is where the water flows into, and you do have a little nozzle right here where you can adjust the flow. So that's nice, but you do have to open it up to adjust it. And here is the media basket. If I can remove it. Uh, I can figure out how it moves. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a it's a little feed media basket, which is fine. It'll it'll hold it'll hold it'll hold some media in there. Uh, also, nice thing about this, if you look in there, there's going to be plenty of space for other media. I don't know if you can see it with the, with the lighting, but there's plenty of other there's plenty of other area for other media in there. So uh, I'm, I'll, I'll be happy with it, I think. And of course, then you could just put that little thing right there. Plenty of room for different kinds of media multiple ways I could see there's multiple ways I could see where I, I could actually uh, add more so that's not gonna be a problem eventually whenever I do decide I need to put more let me see here let me try to figure out if I'm doing this right <laughs> that's the one yeah I don't know if it, which way it's supposed to go because there's two ways it could go <laughs> there's a short end and a small end and it really doesn't help that this is in the way and like I'm trying to pop that off. Let me see here. Which you might not even need this media basket. It might be nice if you need to, but I don't think I'm gonna, I mean, I might not even need it. And that of course will fit right there. And yeah, no, I might not even need it. I'm just gonna put my bag of media in there and I'm set. So that's all I need to do. Yeah, so I, I, you really don't even need this media basket, I don't think. Because basically it's going to be all the same situation anyway. This is all going to just flow in through the media. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that as B. And yeah, so it's, it's, it looks like it's going to be a nice filter. So far, anyways. <laughs> and, of course, there's a little sticker on here explaining things. What size filter media it takes. It says to replace the right size V cartridge monthly. It also says never to replace the bio wheel and replace the impeller yearly, which is going to be in here. Uh, I'm guessing that that could come off some way or another, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm really not going to go that deep into it. <laughs> but yeah, so far I like the way it looks. Now it's just a matter of just getting into my 20 long and see how I like it. Alrighty. Uh, I opened up the charcoal charcoal filter and I'm already I'm already running into a slight problem because it has these little slits right in there and what I'm finding is the charcoal is already coming out of those little holes. 
So basically what, what it is, it has a little itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy pieces of charcoal in there. What got me thinking, I really don't need that carbon. I'm just going to kind of cut this open, cut it open on this side with my razor blade. And I'm just going to remove the carbon because I don't need it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, filter floss and just kind of stuff it in there. That way I could filter out that media, the uh, water that way. But I really, 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 really don't need the carbon. <laughs> I really don't want the carbon in there. And I, I'm, I'm going to try with the uh, filter floss in there, see how that works. If I have problems, I can just take it out and I'll still have this blue piece to filter out stuff. So let me go ahead and do that and put this in my aquarium and then I get to show it off. Okay, so I got the uh, Marineland Penguin Pro 125 installed in my 20 long now, and I'm about to turn it on. Uh, I haven't turned on, I haven't added water on it. Uh, but basically, I'm going to see if it works just like the titles, where it just kind of pumps up without needing to be primed. Uh, this this tank is always, always, always a little uh, hard for me to uh, maintain with the uh, lid up because I'm always afraid of that little fish right there, which is the African butterfly fish. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, if you, yeah, there it is. You can see it kind of uh, hiding be, uh, below the floating plants right there. That is a known jumper. <laughs> so let me go ahead and turn this uh, thing on and see how well it works, see how quiet it is. Uh, keep in mind, it might not be quiet at first because it's going to pump up the water first. So let me go ahead and turn it on and see how it goes. Okay, I do hear a hum. Still priming. Yeah, still, still not as quiet as the uh, titles are. But let me go ahead. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to adjust that flow. That flow is just way, way too much for this, for this filter. So let me go ahead and see what's going on over here. Let me pop this up, and let me lower the flow here. Tell low, go. Let me see here. Uh, why is it okay I'm gonna have to figure this out <laughs> so anyways uh, that that's installed and I'll have to keep an eye on it and see if I can actually lower the flow because this is way 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 too much flow so <laughs> all right let me go figure that out okay so I did figure it out this is how low as it goes which uh, I'm not too pleased on how fast it's going I wish it was a little bit slower this is one reason why I wish that the uh, Title 35 would work from Seachem, but I don't know. I think this is at least uh, hopefully better than the previous one. I was able to at least customize it a little bit more. Uh, now all I need to do is add more water in this tank again. But we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we'll see how it flows. I, I do think the uh, I do think it might be flowing a little bit too hard for this tank, but well, we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, <laughs> I got the Marine Land installed. It's up and running. Uh, one thing I wish, really, really wish it could do is go lower. <laughs> I just think the output on that thing is just a little bit too high for me. But I guess it's going to have to go because it's either that or go back to the Eheim. I don't know yet. <laughs> but uh, it is, it, it does have a hum, but it's not as bad as the Acreon. So I can still hear a hum, but it's a much quieter one. I think once, once I add some more water in there, get my level back up where it should be. I, I think it's, it's probably going to hopefully be fine. So I'm definitely going to probably go run with this for a little bit longer than what I probably did with the Acreon. So far, other than everything's, everything, everything has been running fine on it, except for the flow. I just wish it could go a little bit lower. Um, I'm going to have to research that, see if there's a way to make that go lower. Because <laughs> I really don't want it that high. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll settle up. Maybe the fish will be fine. That's one thing I have to keep an eye on. See how the fish react with that little bit added flow. Uh, so... I'll try it out, see how it goes. So anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.